Okay, very good morning everyone. Welcome to the weekend once again. And we're here at the field to do a continuation shoot of the Anafi USA. Now, some two months ago, we did an unboxing video. The viewers of this video has actually requested for some of the features that uh, they like to see of the Anafi USA. Right, Fahan, you have asked to do a sound test at various distances, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, next is Ray, you have asked for the flight test. So we'll show you how it flies and how well it handles the flight. Okay? The four features that we'll be featuring today is the hand launch. Now, hand launch is not new to the Anafi family. All right? It has been incorporated in the application. However, when we actually bring it out and test with our friends, they find that it's very intriguing and it's fun. So we're going to be featuring how to do that. The second feature that we'll be showing will be the 32 times zoom. Okay, no better place than this where we will zoom into a key uh, landmark of Singapore. All right, you'll see how the 32 time work and how well it actually goes towards this feature. Now, the third feature is the thermal imagery where you will see the different heat signature of the features on the ground. Okay, and last but not least is the sound test. So we're gonna we have brought a sound meter to be tested for this feature. Okay, so this is uh, the fourth test. Now, last but not least, we're gonna be showing you a authorized accessory for the Anafi Parrot. Okay, this is produced by the company called Fox Fury. All right, they have actually uh, put in an attachment for the lights and also infrared camera system. Okay, so we'll see how it attaches onto the Anafi. And if you have uh, yeah, any questions uh, about this video as we go through, uh, feel free to comment down below and then we will address it as we go along. Alright, so let's get to the first feature of the Anafi USA. Okay, this is the first feature that we're featuring and that is the hand launch. Now to initiate the hand launch, first of all, we need to connect, of course, the Free Flight 6 app and turn on the hand launch feature. So once we've turned it on, all right, we're on the top of the app, we will see the hand launch icon that comes up. So it says hand launch ready. So as a one-man operation, we will press the button below the home to initiate the sequence. So I'm going to activate now. As you can see, the blades will start spinning slowly and we will just toss it up into the air. There you go, that's the Anafi hand launch. We're going to be featuring the 32 times zoom right now, okay? So I'm bringing the drone up to a height of around uh, 40 meters. All right, now you can see it in my video that's taken. Right now you will see. All right, so this is at only 40 meters, okay? Now, this is the skyline of Singapore. Beautiful skyline with the Marina Bay Sands, the gardens by the bay, and the background is the Marina Barrage. So now we're gonna activate the 32 times zoom right up close. And let's see how close we can get. Okay, I'm gonna go right up to the top of Marina Bay, the ship right up there. Okay, and you can see. Okay, this is the 32 times zoom. We don't, I don't think we'll see anyone up there. Not at this time, but that's the 32 times zoom as we zoom out. One more time, and then we zoom in again. So, that is the powers of 32 times zoom. Okay, so that's the feature of what we're gonna be show. Let's see what we have on the marine on the barrage. Okay. Whether we have anyone on the barrage. No, it looks clear. It's quite hot actually right now. Ah okay, we have uh, some picnic goers. 
on top of the barrage. Okay, so next, this is the second feature. The next feature that we're going to be showcasing is the thermal imagery. This time it's about 9, 10 o'clock. It's going to be quite hot. So as you can see, uh, the areas that heat concentrated. Okay, so this is the water feature. It's in blue. Okay, and you can see some of the features. Now, what are these? Let's zoom in and take a look at the areas that are red in color. Okay, ah, this is, see, this is actually the top of the shelters. So these are heated up by the sun. And so you can see the temperature signature, which is different from the surrounding. All right, so this is actually one of the uh, features that uh, building architects they would like to use in the construction industry. They can actually see the features around and probably detect defects. This is a sound level meter and you see if I when I speak okay I'm measuring the low decibel sound. Right now it's recording at 50 now when the wind blows, there's some fluctuation as well. So let's see how much sound is being measured from the Anafi USA. Now how we measure this is that we're going to be hovering the Anafi USA about the same level as the sound meter and perpendicular to the wind, the distance of 3 meters. So the wind is coming from this direction, okay, this direction. And so we're perpendicular to the, uh, to the wind. We're going to be taking it off and let's see how much sound it produces. So ambient is at 50, taking off right now. So it is measuring at 55 decibel. Now I'm going to be moving the Anafi USA away from the sound meter. Now I am moving it to about a distance of another 10 meters. Okay, I've increased the height to 3 meters from where we were. The sound has increased to about 65 decibels. Ten meters and three meters up, sixty decibel. Okay, we are thirty meters away, and five meters up. This one is measuring at about sixty decibels. I'm push it a bit further to about fifty meters, and the sound has come down to about fifty-five. So that's 5 decibels above the ambient. Okay. And if I were to go a bit further to say 100 meters, okay, it's measuring about 55. Okay. And that's the last feature or last test that we will do for the Anafi USA. So now this is the Fox Fury attachment designed for the Anafi USA. So this is an attachment for up to three cameras. So we can actually put in a visual camera. Okay, visual camera is this. We could put it on the sides. Okay, now for the camera system, if we want to turn it on, it's basically to press and hold, and it turns on. Okay, so we do the same over the side. Okay, so this actually will illuminate uh, the surrounding in front of the Anafi USA. Now for more stealth operations where we don't want the lights at all. Okay, we can put in the IR camera. Now the IR camera is written on the side. So that's the difference 
that you will see between the IR and the visual camera. The visual camera is nothing, okay? So it's IR. So IR we put it on top. Simply just add it on like this, okay? The on-off switch is at the side. The charging port is on the other side, on the left side, okay? Now it is said that when we plug in to charge, the green light is blinking, and when it's full, the green light stays solid. Okay, now very simple to attach onto the Anaki USA is basically clip from the front and then push it down. Finish. That's it. Alright, so it fits snug like this. Okay, 3D printed. Okay, so you've got the three lights on the sides and right on top. Okay, like this. Very simple. So I like the design. Personally, I like the design of this uh, uh, lighting system because it is very fast, easily deployable and removable very easily. Okay, so I think it's a very uh, good and uh, well thought of design. Okay, so that's what we have for today. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to your comments. If you have, if you have any questions about the Anafi USA and any other features that you think will be of interest to you, feel free to comment down below in our video and we will look forward to answering them. Thank you for watching.